Spio Shabalala has sent a direct yet cryptic message to Kaiser Chiefs management, the players, and the coaching. But ultimately, the message is directed at the management. And when I was talking to Robert Marawa, he was asked about the fact that what is wrong, obviously, with Kaiser Chiefs. And one of the things that he says about the players, because we have been focusing on the coaches and the management, but also the players themselves have their own problems. And Ushabalala says this. He says that the players are too familiar now. And familiarity leads to complacency. And there was a part of me that says that's true for some. And he continues to address this in his next point. Because if you think about it, if you look at most cases, players who come to Chiefs, they arrive and then they're on fire. They get used to an environment and then they just look relaxed. A classic example of a person with such behavior is the fact that Tekum Tushabalala, for example, when he first came on, he was obviously, he's a kid, he's trying to prove himself, and then he got comfortable, and all of a sudden he started not playing that well. Samuel Ozwane, we saw how good he was, and then all of a sudden people started saying he doesn't take his football seriously. You have about Edson Castillo, who came to Ike's Chiefs and was scoring goals, were running up and down, were doing all these things. All of a sudden he's losing balls easily and the king of all of the players because these are not just the only players who look like they got familiar and then became complacent he's just been walking around the pitch for the past two years doing nothing because it seems like ah, i know this no one's gonna bench me i'm not going anywhere i'm the starter in this club in any case so it then ends up looking like a situation whereby and it does not seem like there is any hunger and could it be because of what Shabalala said because he says that the guys seem like they don't enjoy football when you say people are not enjoying football the question is why would players not enjoy football was kind of saying things about the coach without saying things about the coach because why would you not enjoy football if you were enjoying football from wherever you come from obviously if there's poor coaching you are never going to enjoy your football because you are comfortable with a three-year contract but the coach is always telling you things that he himself seems like he doesn't understand and because of that you just see these players going out there because they have contracts and they have to fulfill them but if it were up to them, they would rather be anywhere else, literally anywhere else. Because one of the things that I've been saying over the past few weeks is the fact that Usfis Otlanti is a very good player. He is very good or used to be very good. But I don't think being able to play football just disappears just because you are getting old. But it does not seem like he's interested. That's the thing that worries me about him. Even Ukivin Simango, as much of a leader as he can be, and all of these great things that he's achieved in his career. But at Chiefs, you look at his body language, man. It's just like, ah. Abo mode, they look depressed and dejected. Abo Mfundo Villa, Abo, even Mfundo Villa has started looking like, ah, oh, what is happening here? To a point that they've now sent him back to MTC to get some game time. You look at Abo Mtutuzi Shabalalo when they have to stand up to go warm up. They just don't look good about that. They're like, ah, oh, what is happening here? Because the environment is just so bad because we are losing all the time. But the coach also doesn't look like he understands what he's doing. And because of that, no one is ever going to enjoy working in an environment like that. And he continues to see that the players don't see the privilege to play for Kaiser Chiefs. And I like Uguti. He keeps on also going back to the players themselves. Because Kwabona, as much as, as, much as the Kaiser Chiefs, as a coach who's not doing that well but at the end of the day it's also a privilege like a lot of us grew up like looking at abu skarangobese thinking ish i want to play for chiefs one day now you know you know when you have been good enough to be a pro player but you were just looking like if i can get that chance oh, i'll take it with both hands but these guys it looks like they're like ah yeah well ah, yeah. but then again the question is what I said a few weeks ago, Guti, could it be that they are doing this because at this moment in time, they want to get the coach fired? 
Because if the coach is coaching you nonsense and you can see that he's coaching you nonsense and you want him gone, you might want to start tracking your feet so that the management will see that our players are not enjoying football. This man does not understand what he's doing, so let's fire him. But they are not doing that clearly. So then the question is, how much of it is because they are tired of the coach? How much of it is it them not knowing or seeing the privilege of playing for Keza Chiefs? And then he is saying that you can lose, but you must leave everything out there on the pitch. How many times have you honestly looked at a Keza Chiefs player and said, wow, he fought? Because the only player who I can always say that in every given game, I will say this, there is one player and one player only who is a starter and when he's out there, he will give it his all. And that player is Edmilson Dove. His body language is always on point. We are Mbuga, we are Pelela, he kicks, he jumps, he gets injured, he cries, he goes out, he will come back three months later. But when he comes back, you can rest assured that that man is going to fight for the team. I do not see any other player who has much of a fight as him. Yes, he might lose the ball here and there, but you can never question the commitment that Edmilson Dove to his achieves. And the next thing is that Ushabalalage, he says this thing. He says, management needs to restructure things. Now, this might be misinterpreted as him saying management needs to restructure themselves. But at the same time, because as I said, it seems cryptic in a way. Is he just talking about the restructuring of the coaches? Because obviously, if the players are not enjoying their football, that might be because they are not enjoying or they do not like how they are being coached because how they are being coached clearly shows a person who is clueless. Or is he also referring to people within the management changing positions or finding other people who actually understand how to do the job. Because if that's the case, I agree with him in both cases. If he's talking about, let's restructure, let's change the structure of the management. I agree. Number two, let's fire the coaches. Let's remove everyone in the technical team and bring people, someone with their own new uh, technical team and with their new, what's the word? Someone who's bringing basically his own technical team and they are going to start afresh with everything new, with nothing from the previous technical team, nothing that's going to even resemble this failed attempt at uh, having a shortcut after Atazwan. Let's build, let's start afresh with someone who's obviously not going to, 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 to be nursing feelings here. They come in, they're like, yeah, we see you are poor right now and we are, we are about to take you to the next level, a level that you've never been in before. But if you are not in line, you will be out of the team as quick as you can say. Ah, wow, that was a very weird thing to say. Anyways, do you think that Uspio Shabalala is right? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, remember, equals Alpelumon.